All right, welcome back. So yesterday I was scrolling in my LinkedIn, and then I find out this interesting competition hosted by Hugging Face, which is the their very first competition. So it's basically uh, classification binary classification. We have a set of images, and we want to train a model that tell us which one is made by AI and which one is real. So this is the competition. This is a, a really interesting competition, at least for me. And since today I have a free time, I figure out why not to make a baseline code for it. So for the let's see the public leaderboard. So we have a uh, fifteen participants until now. It's just the second day, I guess, for this this competition. For the data set, I already downloaded in my laptop so here in the let's see okay in the data i have the train csv and sample solution csv and the train and the test they are the image for train and this is the image for test and we want to figure out which are made by human and which are made by machine learning okay Let's see the image. So, I guess they are interesting ones. Now let's move to the the parts when we are coding something. So I always organize my work like that. I have three folders: one for data, other for code, which is empty for now, and checkpoint, which is also empty for now. Let's start by doing something useful in code. So let's mm, let's build our buzz line. Let's name it buzzline.epkinf. Okay, so I will start by loading all the dependencies that we need. Let's import numpy as np imports pandas to read as pd to read the file csv let's import matplotlib to plot some 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 useful plot and let's import os for operation system and from pil we need to import image because we are working with image obviously so I will use torch, let's import torch and from torch let's import nn for neural network and optim. What else do we need? So optim for optimizers and let's import So from torch also dot nn dot functional let's import so let's name it like that let's import it as f and from torch dot utils dot data let's import data sets data loader I guess that's it and now let's import the augmentation for that augmentation and other transforms what else we need so from augmentation dot pytorch let's import tensor and from Takadom let's import Takadom to show the bar progress and let's import torch vision dot models or let's let's so from torch vision let's import models and from efficiency by torch because i will use transfer learning 
I will use efficient laser, solid on portals. And finally, from circuit learned, let's unpause matrix in case we need it. Okay. Now let's let's read our files, train and sample submission. So I guess I need to go back into data and then choose train.csv and the same for sample submission. I don't know what is name exactly so let's make it like that. Okay, so it's sample submission. Okay, let's see our train, how it is. So, So we have the ID, which which is the the ID of the image and the label. Okay, let's see our sample submission. Label is zero or one, which is an image created by AI or not, I guess. Okay. Now let's move to create our dataset. So let's name our class dataset that we inherit from datasets. Let's start by init function. Interesting. That will take self roots image, which we have the image and root file the path where we have the in the the file csv mode for train or train or test because i guess we have two modes here and let's add also transforms for to apply some transforms as the augmentation and other stuff let's make it equal to none for now so for self dot root image should be let's copy and paste because we are lazy or at least I'm lazy okay now let's check if mode equal to train in this case self dot file should be equal to pd dot read csv of file And we take just let's see if it will work. So if I make train dot shape duplicate by no. Okay, so it should be ints. Okay, in this in this okay in this case I take three hundred 3000 image and stuff in a validation and the rest of the image which are let's see how much 14k and stuff for the train so here i will make just like that but instead of train i have this this thing here, okay, but I will think more than I will take more than 14k for training. I will take let's make like that. So let's see the number. Interesting. That's I guess nice. Okay. And if mode equal to val for validation, or let's name it 
JSON server. I will take this number, but here and in this case, I will I will I will get advantage of all the image. I hope this makes sense to you. Okay, now let's see the len. So about the len, it's pretty simple. Six self, and it, we just return self dot file dot shape of zero. So we can you can use coupled validation, but I will just make a sample chain test. Split. Now let's move to get item. For get item, we take self and index and we need image path which should be os dot path. So we join dot join. So we join self dot root image with so root image with self dot file i guess we have here id so id and we take just the the index that we want okay for the image for the image should be equal to let's we read first the image with image open and then convert it to an numpy array so numpy array of image dot open image path we already have a path and we convert this one into rgb to ensure that we have three channel because sometimes you can have four channel or just one i already have this error before for the label it should be pretty simple just self dot file of label and we take the index that's it now let's check if we have some transforms so if uh, this guy here so self dot transform is not none so and it should be not not because we need to resize the image in the same size every time and let, let's take the augmentation let's name it augmentation should be equal to self dot transforms image equal to image and the image should be equal to augmentation of image and finally let's return image and this label here so let's ensure that it's torch so torch dot tensor of label okay i guess this i hope this makes sense to you now let's set up some hyper parameters so for learning rates let's make 1e minus 4 for batch size let's make mm, let's see let's make 16 for number of epoch let's just make 9 or 10 for height and weight i will go for 2 to 4 as efficient is b3 and the same for the for weight which and for the image so for the image i saved image into we should return into data and then train okay so train and then train again okay and for the file it should be equal so we return again into data and each channel is good let's name it file okay <coughs> now let's build a function let's name it get to others to get our no others for train and val so get no others image it will take the image the image path of course file path 
uh, batch size chain transform which have the transform of training and val transforms for train data set it should be equal to data set so this data set so this class here that we worked earlier okay let's just make like that to so see the things that we need here so we need image path then file path then mode which is train then train transforms let's copy and path because i'm lazy okay so for train no other it should be equal to data loader of train data set so this one here and we need to, 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 to choose a batch size which will be equal to all batch size and let's shuffle the data so shuffle equal to true and let's copy and path these two guys and modify them to be our validation data so for val data set here we have image file i name it here valid and here i have val transforms we need we don't need to shuffle the data and i need to replace train data sets with val data set i guess that's it okay so let's return train data lo other and this should be val lo other okay and val lo other i hope this makes, makes sense to you if you have any question just make them in the comments i read all the comments now let's move to okay so we need Let's let's name uh, normalize to normalize data. Mm, okay. Let's make a for so normalize equal to a for augmentation dot normalize and let's make the mean equal to the famous one which is zero point four eight five zero point four five six and 0 0.4 0 and 6 okay and for the std should be equal to 0 0.2 to 4 2 to 9 2 to 4 and finally 255 okay and for the max of pixel value which is obviously equal to 2.255.0 okay so now let's make a function org for augmentation for train transform so for train transform let's make it equal to a dot compose because here we we add a lot of uh, of things we start by resize the image into the width and the height so for the width should be equal to our width and for the height should be equal to our height and let's make some horizontal flip for the documentation with probability of p equal to 0.5 and let's make also some mm, vertical flip but let's make the policy small let's make 0 0.1 and maybe let's rotate the image so a dot rotate with limits of maybe just 20 i guess that's it for the documentation now let's normalize use this one 
and let's make it to tensor i guess that's it now let's use almost the same but without the documentation for valid transforms let's name it val transform and remove these three guys here for the documentation okay now let's just return change transforms and what transforms so again if you have any question just make them in the comments below i read all the comments so what's wrong interesting i don't have any idea what's wrong so okay okay so here i should add these two guys and for train.com pose i forgot to add this Okay, and that's it. Now let's let's just call this function that we use here. Hmm, interesting. So I have some error here. So main std So we have missing more my argument which is image I have no idea what's wrong Okay, so here I should choose row size with capital R. Stupid mistake. Type of mistake. Okay, let's move to let's check the data loader if everything works fine as we want. So for check go other let's let's uh, make image and label equal to next so we take just one batch for our tree low other train low other which i should to call him here so train low other should be equal so this one for val no other because our function returned two guys equal to get no other let's see the function what's what need here so for the function it's it need the image path i named image earlier and file path i guess i named image so what's wrong and file path uh, for for the batch size i name it batch size for train transforms it's just train transforms and also we need val transforms okay now let's make our plots dot figure let's make fix size equal to maybe 10 by 10 and now let's look for e in a range of 9 so i will plot i will plot 9 random image from our first batch so x it should be equal to plt dot subplot and 3 by 3 to plot 9 image and we add one iteration by, by time so plt dot show 
first we plot image of index E and we need to permute the image to be in the same format. So permute just uh, play with the RGB. And for the axis, let's name it. Let's so let's just get rid of axis. For the name, it will be AI if the, the label is zero, and not AI if the label is one, and the label, the index is the label of index E dot I two. I hope this makes, makes sense to you again. If you have any question, just make them in the comments. I read all the comments. We set up the title, the name, and finally it's called this function. So yeah, it's work fine. We see the image not clearly because we use normalize if I if I make normalize in comments, so I will not use normalize, we can see the image clearly because the machine does not see the image as we do. Okay, I will make normalize again. And let's continue. So now let's move to the fun part. Let's code our model, let's name it network, net for network. That will inherit from an end dot module, and for the init part, we send in self and okay. I will just think we need just self. So and for the model. Should let's let's make let's initialize self dot model by efficientness. So I, as I told you before, I will use efficientness from pretrained. I will use efficientness B three. Just a small model. And this the output of the model is I guess one. So let's make self dot function equal to an n just a linear one. The output of our model as of the efficiency is basically I guess one thousand, and we need just one word at the end, zero or one. I guess that's it. I will not use sigmoid because in loss function I will use binary cross entropy with logit which is just a combination between binary cross entropy and sigmoid. In the forward part, we need self and the inputs of the model, which is the image. And first we enter the image into our model. And then we enter it into our function. I named FCT, I don't know why, but it doesn't matter, just a name, I guess. And finally, we return X. Okay. Uh, one trick if you don't know the output of the model, you can just here print X dot shape, and you need to, 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 to test it and know the and no and no the output so let's just make x equal to torch dot random that will take for dimensional batch size rgb the width and the height and let's make our model equal to net so in this in this uh, in these things you can just you can also check if your model work fine or not so yeah, it's a it's a four it's a it's one thousand, and four for the batch size. So if you don't know this number, you can find it here and just write it. I hope this makes sense to you. Okay, let's continue now. Let's build a function. 
let's name it check accuracy to check accuracy in each epoch after each epoch it will take no other model and loss function okay so we need i guess the number what is that we need number correct so let's name it num correct i will sell it by zero and we need number of samples and accuracy i guess or not okay so let's make model.eval for evaluation mode and with the torch dot no grad because we don't need any gradients x should be equal okay so i will i will first need to loop x is the image y is the label for x y in taqaddum of flow other i will move x to CUDA because i have CUDA in my machine it's hard to do machine learning without any GPU I will move it into project float 3 2 and for the label I will also move it to CUDA at torch.float 3 2 and I will to unsqueeze it by 1 so unsqueeze by in index 1 so, okay and let the prediction should be equal to model.x and okay let's make our prediction equal to 0 it's so a threshold it will be 0 0.5 so if it is equal to so it is smaller than 0 0.5 it should be 0 and if it is bigger than 0 0.5 it should be 1 i hope this makes sense to you okay now for the number of corrects should we increase whenever our predicts equal should we increase whatever our predicts equal to the label and for number of samples should we increase by the breadth of shape of zero okay i will not increase it by the number of batch size in each time because in the final batch size we can have a number smaller than the number of batch size i hope this makes sense to you now let's print let's print something cool so let's print it okay so let's print regards number correct divide by number samples so how much corrects we have from the from this from from each samples and let's calculate the accuracy with accuracy or score so it should be float of number of correct divide by number of samples and let's multiply this number with 1000 and let's just let's just take two numbers after after the okay what's wrong here we take just just two numbers after the point so if we have for example 99 points a lot of numbers i take just these two guys here I hopefully we will get this score 99 points something okay now let's make our model again in 
tray mode and let's return I guess I don't have anything to return so that's fine now let's make let's move to train function train script for the train function it should be it will take no other model optimizer and loss function okay uh, we need to look into lock into blue other and we will use the to show bar progress i will copy and pass these two guys because we need to move them into CUDA and again into this guy here and we need to squeeze the label by one for the forward part our score should be equal to model of x and the loss should be equal to the loss function between scores and y okay now for the forward for the backward part we start by model dot zero grad then loss dot backward and we take a step by optimizer yep that's it now let's move now let's move into uh, into the final step which is combining everything together so let's define first the loss function by binary cos entropy with logit so nn dot binary cos entropy with logit which is just binary cos entropy plus sigmoid and let's move it to CUDA. I don't I don't know if this is necessary or not, but let's just do that to avoid any errors. And let's initialize the model by I guess I name it net. Yep. And let's move it to CUDA. I'm sure this is necessary to not have any errors. So let's name again the optimizer. I will need just name it opt because I'm lazy so it's optimizer which is just optim dot adam here model dot parameters and for the learning rate should be equal to learning rates okay so now let's use so I will copy and pass these two guys because here I need chain no other and bar no other so here should okay so here should be val no other what else we need hmm interesting let's let's just check the accuracy before any training just for fun to see the accuracy of our model without any training so we train with val no other and with model and with loss function Okay, now let's start training. So for epoch, in a range of number of epochs, the loss should be equal to check accuracy. Mm, we don't start with, ch with, the, with, the, with check accuracy, I guess we start with training. So train function should be equal. I need to focus. Train function take train no other. Model optimizer, which I name is opt, and finally loss function. Okay. Now we check the model. Okay, what else? So 
I need to to save the model because I will use it again in the inference to make the submission. So the checkpoint we start by by saving the checkpoint into a dict. Checkpoint should be equal to a dict. We we need state dict. Model dot state dict and optimizer, which is optimizer dot state state dict, which is ops dot state dict in this case. Okay, now let's save the checkpoint. So I will I will build a function which is named save checkpoint. Let's build it here. I forgot it earlier. This function takes state state and the file name when we will save the checkpoints let's print something to know that we are saving something so saving blah 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 and here we use the magic torch dot save we save state uh, in file name okay now let's call this function i will copy and pass because again i'm lazy So the state is just uh, the checkpoint that I already do here and for the file name so I should to go back into checkpoint and here let name it baseline version 0 dot pth dot tar I guess that's it now let's hope everything will work Interesting. So here learning rates. Type of mistake again. What else wrong? Checkpoint check accuracy of for XY. Hmm, so I need to reset the index. So check the index. Mm, I guess drop equal to true. Here and here, okay. Now let's hope everything will work fine. Um, so I need to move print here to not print it each time, but the it works so. Uh, I will give it a time to train and then see you soon. Alright guys, our model is complete the training. I just modify one small thing after I cast the video. Here I add torch.sigmoid in model.x because, because we don't use sigmoid in our model and while training and while while evaluation we need to make them sigmoid because this loss function binaryos entropy with logit is a combination of binaryos entropy and sigmoid so the accuracy before any training was 47 points stuff and after one epoch it's 9 5 plus stuff etc so it was i guess an okay uh, score but we can make it better easier so now let's make an inference so to make our first submission so let's just uh, let's name it was line inference dot epinb and i will copy and pass a lot of things here let's start by the Clever as we will use Okay, we need 
we need this. Oh, we don't need this. Let's for data sets, it will change a lot. So we don't have any more because we are here testing. And we don't have the label. We are predicting the label. What else? Uh, I guess that's it. For for the hyperparameters, for the hyperparameters, it will be the same. Here it should be test, test, and here it should be sample submission. I guess let's check. Yep. For get low others, I will not use two. I will just use one. Uh, let's remove that. Let's name that test transform. We don't have any mod. We don't need to shuffle the data. Let's name this one test the data set. Again, test no other. And we return test no other. Okay, let's copy this one and again let's copy this one. Let's name it test transforms. We don't need to check no other. For the model it will be the same. Here we don't need any check accuracy. We need to build a function with the name load checkpoint. So it will be save checkpoint. The, which it will which it will be torch at the path and model and optimizer. Let's print load in or something. Load in stuff. And here let's make model dot load so states dict and we are loading checkpoint of states dict almost the same for optimizers so opt dot load states dict checkpoint of optimizer I guess that's it now let's move to this function okay so we need model optimizer and we need checkpoint file let's name it checkpoint file which it will take the path where we have the checkpoint so we go into checkpoint then baseline version 0 okay now let's use this function so for the checkpoint it will be torch dot load so we are loading this weight here for our model let's make our model in evaluation mode okay now let's loop so for x which is the image in taqaddum of test loader test loader not transform so i need to call this function image which is the path where we have the image file batch size let me check something should it should be file batch size and test transform okay so this one it should be equal to test transform okay 
So now let's move our image into CUDA. Then to torch dot float three two. And now let's make the prediction. So the prediction should be equal to torch dot sigmoid of model of X. And let's copy this one into CPU and let's detach it and then convert it into a numpy. Okay. Now let's loop so for e in a range of the length of the predictions. So for the sample. let's read the file so let's make test equal to pd dot read csv of of the file let's check if it works okay i forget to remove the label here Okay, what am I doing? I forget so I remove it. Okay, nice. Now test let's name it the name of it is label. Test of label of K should be increased by should be equal to prediction of E. And here I need to make the index equal to zero then increase it each time i hope this makes sense to you so the problem is just a type of mistake it should be state dict Okay, another mistake that has this option has no attribute file so we are using file here and we don't read it from root file so it should be saved file equal to pd.readcsv of this path now it should work hopefully so yeah it's work So I was watching Tokyo Revenge waiting for this inference. Now let's see what we got. Hmm. I made a stupid mistake. I need the label to be 0 or 1. I don't want any numbers in between. So let's just make if the prediction is bigger than 0.5. Let's do that as a type. Let's, Let's see if it's gonna work. So yeah, I will watch the the anime and wait in this effort to wait. See you there. All right. So now we have our test as we want, zero or one. Now let's save it into a CSV in the path submissions. So I don't have submissions, okay? So let's just name it sub dot CSV, and we want we don't want the index, okay? Now let's just make our first submission. So the score was 1.11, I'm the 9 in this competition, it's super easy to improve this score, I guess so. Okay, I hope this video was useful for you, I'll see you soon hopefully.